Hello guys, welcome back sa aking channel. Ako nga pala si Sir Mar Santa Maria, Master Teacher 1 of Governor Luis A. Ferrer Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic nyo sa mathematics. Let us proceed with the assessment part of quarter number 4 with number 4. So let us solve the two problems. For number 1, San Jose National High School Mathematics Department conducted a quiz B with selected grade 10 students as participants. This was part of the Festival of Talents for the second grading. The 20 contestants had the following scores 24, 37, 25, 25, 39, 42, 28, 25, 31, 37, 32, 45, 33, 21, 30, 43, 42, 46, 33, and 40. So we need to calculate for first, U sub 3, second, D sub 2, and then third, P sub 40, and interpret its measure. So the first step, we are going to arrange the scores in ascending order. Ito na yung medyo mahirap kasi there are 20 uh, scores. So, ang end natin dito ay 20. So, pero in ko na ito, magiging 21, 24, 25, 25, 25, 28, 30, 31, 33, 33, another 33, 37, 37, 39, 40, 42, 42, 43, 45, and uh, 40, uh, 6. Pakacheck nyo rin kung tama yung uh, given natin. Okay? So, una, pupunin natin ang Q sub 3. Bago makuha yan, kinakalangan natin hanapin ang position. So, to get the position, so we have Okay, so 3 parts of n plus 1. So, ang n natin dito ay 20. 20 plus 1 magiging 21. Kaya magiging 3 parts of uh, 21. So, multiply natin ngayon ang 3 times 21. We have 63. Okay, so divided by 4. Di ba, pagka 63 by 4 magiging 15. So, may 3 parts ka, kaya uh, 15.75. So, nasaan ngayon 15.75? So, pag ginamit natin ngayon si Mendon Hall and si Chick Method, so, since ito ay Q sub 3, which is greater than a Q sub 2 or the median, ang gagawin natin ngayon kay 15.75 ay i-round down. Kaya approximately, makuha natin ngayon ang the 15th uh, position. So, since ito ngayon ay 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, sa so magiging Q sub 3 lamang natin dito ay equal kay 40. Ang tanong natin dito, how do we interpret the 40? So, it means that 75% of the participants got less than or equal to 40 in a quiz week. For letter B, hanapin natin ang D sub 2. Unanin natin ang position of D sub 2 using uh, 2 over 10 or 2 times of M plus 1. So, magiging 21 na yun kasi 20 plus 1. Then, 2 times uh, 21, magiging equal kay 42 divided by 10. So, meron ka lang uh, 4.2. Okay? So, pag ginamit uli natin itong method na to, ang gagawin natin kay 4.2 ay i-round up natin dahil ang D sub 2 ay less than the uh, D sub 5 or the median. Kaya, kukunin natin ngayon ang magiging fifth uh, position. So, nasa nyo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 25. So, D sub 2 is equal to 25. At tanong natin dito, ano ang ibig sabihin ngayon ng uh, 25? It only means that 25% of the participants got less than or equal to 25 in the math PCB. So, to get uh, letter C with P sub 40, so let us first determine the position. So, we have uh, 40 over 100 or 0.4 multiplied by uh, 21 dahil 20 plus 1. Then, multiply natin ngayon ang uh, 40 times uh, 21. So, we have 0, 4, and then 840 divided by uh, 100. Kaya, move on natin ang 8.4. Uh, so, using again this uh, method, ang gagawin natin dito ay 8.4 ay i-round up natin dahil ang P sub 40 ay greater than R. Dahil ang P sub 40 ay less than P sub 50 or the median. Kaya round up natin into uh, okay, so the 9 uh, position. So ito yung pag-sabot. Ibig sabihin natin yung pang 9 natin. So we have 33. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng 33? It only means that 40% dahil P sub 40 is 40 at a percentile. 40% of the participants got less than or equal to 33 in the math quiz B. For problem number 2, BQ, wow! May sikat tayong uh, ano, Korean singer. Conducted a survey on the daily allowances of his classmates as part of his requirements in mathematics at 10. The survey result is shown below. Okay, ito yun. 
So, we need to find U sub 1, D sub 9, and P sub 80 and interpret its measure. So, para masolve na rin itong uh, group data, kinakalangan mag-add tayo ng column for the less than cumulative frequency na kung saan mag-start lang tayo mag-add from the lowest class interval papunta sa taas ng frequency. Kaya magiging 4. Okay, 4 plus uh, 13 magiging 17. 17 plus 9, we have uh, 26. So, 26 plus uh, 6 magiging 32. And then, uh, 32 plus 8 magiging uh, 40. Kaya yung kaya natin dito is equal to uh, 40. Pag ginawa naman natin yung class size, ang gagawin lang doon, 50 minus 40, so magiging uh, 10. So, una, kunin natin ang Q sub 1. Pero bago yon dapat mahanap natin ang position of the Q sub 1 class. So, ito yung magiging uh, position natin. Ang formula natin ay magiging 1 fourth of n o magiging equal kay n over 4. Sa so, group data, may plus 1. Pero sa group data, walang plus 1. So, ang n natin ay uh, 4. Ay, ang n natin ay 40. Then, divided by 4. Kaya magiging equal kay, uh, kay 10. So, nasa kaya yung magiging 10 na yun? So, ibig sabihan, matatagpuan natin yan on 41 to 50. Dahil itong 17 na to from 5 to 17. Kaya dito natin ngayon, mahanap ang Q sub 1 okay, class at dito natin ma-identify yung mga uh, different uh, values na nagagamitin natin sa formula. So since ito ngayon na magiging Q sub 1 natin, itong um, 41 na to ang gagawin natin dyan, ima-minus natin ngayon ng uh, 0.5 kaya ang uh, LP lamang natin or lower boundary is equal to 40.5. Okay, Pag kinuha naman natin ngayon ang last ng cumulative frequency yung nasa baba, Ito lang yon, Kaya ang magiging last na community frequency natin ay equal lamang kay, okay, kay 4. Then ang magiging frequency naman natin ng, ng Q sub 1 class, ayun, makikita natin, ito yung kanyang uh, uh, frequency, kaya equal kay uh, 13. So, magiging frequency natin dyan ay magiging uh, 13. Tapos, i-subscript natin on the formula. So, magiging LBS 40.5, okay, plus the quantity of, ang N over 4 natin, ito magiging 10, minus, Ang uh, CM sabi natin magiging 4 Then all over, ang frequency naman natin ay 13 Tapos ang I natin ay equal kay 10 Okay, so magiging uh, 10 Then, uh, gamitan natin ang PEMDAS Anahin muna natin ito 10 minus 4 magiging uh, 6 Then multiply by 10 magiging 16 Then saka natin ay i-divide by 13 Saka natin i-add ng 40.5 So pag ginawa muna natin ito Magiging 6 times uh, 10 magiging 16 divided by 13 Makuha, makuha natin ang uh, 4.62 na ka-rounded na yun. Tapos saka pa lang natin siya i-add by 40.5. So pag inod natin, so magiging uh, Q sub 1 natin is equal to 45.12. Ang tanong doon, ano ang ibig sabihin nito? So it only means that 25% kasi Q sub 1 of the students have allowances of less than or equal to 45.12. Siguro ito ay in terms of peso naman to. Kaya pwede natin naging ngayon ng 45 pesos and at 12 centavos. So for letter B, D sub 9. Kunin muna natin yung position ng D sub 9. So magiging equal kay 9 times of uh, 40. Madali lang to. 40 divided by 10 magiging 4. Times 9 we have a 30. Okay, so 36. So nasa kaya yun? So saan nakapanood na yun ang 36? So nandito ngayon yun sa 71 to 80. Dahil ito ay from 33 to 40. So dito mo ngayon matatagpuan ang D sub 9 class. Okay? Pag in-identify natin ang LB, ayun yun, bawas ka lang ng 0.1 kay 71, kaya magiging 70.5. Yung last ng community mo, nasa baba ng 40 which is 32. Then, ang frequency natin, ayun, magiging equal kay 8. Then, i-substitute natin sa pinaka-formula. Kung papasili mo dito, yung formula natin nagbabago lang naman yung kay dito, tapos yung dito, di ba? Tapos dyan. Okay? So, halos pare-para wala naman yung pinaka-formula. Pabagoy mo lang yung eto, tapos yung frequency niya, di ba? Next, kaya magiging LB natin dito ay 70.5 plus the quantity of nakuha na ito as 36 minus sa 32 all over ang frequency natin ay 8 then ang i natin still magiging equal kay 10 ganun pa rin uh, PEMDAS pa rin tayo unahin muna natin ito 36 minus 32 magiging equal kay 4 times ng 10 magiging 40 madali na no sa 40 ba ba uh, 8 magiging 5 kaya magiging 70.5 plus 5 mukha lang muna natin dito ang 75.5 as D sub 9. So, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ito? So, pagka in-interpret natin, D sub 9, 98% tal, kaya magiging 90% of the students have allowances of less than or equal to 75 pesos and 50 centavos. Lagyan natin ng 0 kasi pagka 
dating sa money, kinakalaan ng 2,000 na place tayo dito sa pinaka uh, cents kaya 75 pesos and 50 centavos. Pero dito, pwede ng 75.5. For the last one, we have piece of 80. Unin natin ang position of 80. So we have 80 over 100. Pwede rin namang 8 over 10 para mapadali. Of, uh, okay, so we have uh, 40. So pag minuti pa yung 80 by 40, meron ka 3,200 divided by uh, 100. So meron ka 30. Uh, two. So, nasa 30 seconds. So, nasa inyo? So, sakto naman dito yun. So, nandito ngayon nakapalawag ang PSAP. Okay. So, PSAP 80. Okay. Class. Then, identify natin ngayon yung pinaka LB. So, bawasan mo lang dito ng 0.5 at 61. So, meron ka 60.5. Then, ang uh, last na may military, nasa baba na kaya magiging 26. Then, ang frequency natin dito ay, ayun, magiging 6. Tapos, isubscute natin sa pinaka formula. So, ang LB natin dito ay, 60.5 plus the quantity of nakuha na ito as 32 okay minus we have the 26 then ang frequency natin ay 6 then multiply by okay 10 so ganun para nahin natin nasa parenthesis 32 div, uh, minus 36 magiging 6 divided by 6 magiging 1 okay times 10 magiging 10 plus doon ayun so pwede mo nang 10 plus uh, 60.5 o sige sasay natin 60.5 plus uh, 10 kaya magiging 70.5 then uh, i-interpret natin kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng 70.5 na to. It only means that 80% kasi piece of 80, 88% of the students have allowances of less than or equal to 70 pesos and 50 centavos. Lagi ulit natin ng another zero dahil dapat ang sense natin ay 2 decimal uh, places. Okay? So, I hope guys, nakatulong ko sa inyo kung paano natin uh, kuhanin itong uh, week number 4 ng quarter number 4. And syempre, kung nag-isaw mo yung video, magkakalimutan mag-like at pakishare na rin sa mga classmates mo para at least matuto rin sila ng ating uh, topic. At syempre, kung hindi ka pa ka nakapag-subscribe, pakihit naman, uh, libre naman yan, di ba? And uh, hit mo na rin ang bell. So, thank you and God bless.